Hi, I'm Dr. Natoli of Functional Spine and Sport, and today's topic is on hip pain and what you can do to avoid hip pain. This video is directed to the parents with youth athletes, especially young athletes that do a single sport and do it year round. So what can happen is a condition called femoroacetabular impingement. Now it's a fancy way of saying that there's too much bone growing around the hip. So the abbreviation for that is FAI. Now what happens when a young person that hasn't reached skeletal maturity participates in a sport that's high load, that does it year round and in club and in school, they're not getting the proper rest and the proper um, forces distributed throughout the hip. It's always the same thing into the hip on a constant basis. So two things can happen and a mix of those two things can happen. One, you can get too much bone on the femur or the ball part. This is bad because as the hip would rotate, you would see how that would actually rub away and wear away the hip joint. So it's literally gonna scrape away the cartilage and this happens in a young kid. That's a bad problem. The other thing that can happen is that you get too much bone on the socket part in the pelvis. This can also scrape into the bone. And more commonly, you'll actually get a mix, and then that really just beats away at that. So the recent studies for these problems are showing a likelihood of two to eight times of more likely to have this happen in young athletes participating in a year-round single sport. That is unbelievable when we first read the, the report on this. So what is the takeaway here? If you're a parent with a young athlete, they need to be in a variety of sports, okay? And if they are really good at one sport, they need to have a rest period throughout the year. Their hip has to have time to develop and heal, and they need different forces going throughout to develop the skeletal maturity accurately and effectively. So the, the four biggest sports that are showing up in those studies and that we see clinically are basketball, soccer, hockey, and gymnastics. So those are the four biggest ones that you're going to see this in. So if, if, you're, if your young uh, son or daughter is having hip problems and they're in uh, high load sports, have them come in and check us, and check us out and let, let us check them out and see if their hips are healthy because there's a lot you can do if you catch this early. Um, that doesn't require further surgery or further uh, pain down the road. Okay, So this is a big deal and we hope you found this video helpful. Please like, share, and comment, and uh, contact us if you have any further questions, and be on the lookout for further videos. Thank you.